were born, what the feet would bring. Well, they're definitely capturing Vader in this. Ooh, bacon. Greetings, Tasty Morsels. It's Reverse BLT here. Welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. I am about to watch episode four of Obi Wan Kenobi. Last time, basically, the biggest thing that happened was uh, Obi Wan confronted, well, was confronted by uh, Darth Vader, his former Padawan learner, Anakin Skywalker, in the much burnt and now heavily armored flesh. And uh, Vader basically whooped his ass, but then just sort of stood there as he was very sort of clumsily rescued. <laughs> just don't get it, do you? <laughs> I still don't understand that. But one of you guys in the comments suggested that maybe Vader is uh, basically sort of playing with his food, so to speak, and that he let Obi-Wan escape so that he could, like, basically kind of, like, I guess, hound him and, you know, increase his suffering through you know, stressing him out, I guess, really badly until he finally delivers the killing blow. I mean, I guess it's plausible. Um, but it still just felt a little weird to me. <laughs> and, of course, the other big thing that happened is that Leia was apparently captured by Reva, uh, the uh, Inquisitor who has great aspirations <laughs> for her future. I, I understood that reference. Uh, so yeah, uh, the description of this one says Obi-Wan plans a daring mission in enemy territory. It's pretty obvious what that's going to be for, uh, to go and try to rescue Leia, which should put him on a direct collision path again with Vader. So uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into this. You can't keep me here. My father is Bail Organa. He's a senator. I am a princess! Do you know who I am? You can barely stand. You're not getting in there. I'll go with him. Well, I have officer clearance. Is your cover still intact? I would expect it not to be. <laughs> I mean, they should know that she went missing, that the rest of her detail is dead, shot in the back, and the timing is very suspicious, so... But then again, I've seen the Empire make much stupider decisions than uh, leaving the clearance of an, a dubious officer intact. Hold your fire. There's no life for us. I mean, here's the thing. You also need a plausible reason to be at a top-secret secure facility. <laughs> I wonder what she came up with. Classic uh, movie fake-out about... Whether or not someone will be able to pass their credential check. Is there a check. problem? This isn't your sector. I can't let you through. Oh, okay. Competency. Ah, here's where you bluff. I'm here with classified intelligence. Do you know what classified means? That would, like, never fucking work in real life. <laughs> All right, I'm inside the system. Here we go. It's a good thing nobody was listening to that. She about to out herself as a uh, force sensitive. Is this a stare contest? <laughs> stare contest. The braver you seem, the more afraid you are. Now, Lola about to die a second time. Do you look at this place? What are they keeping down there? Yeah, hey, uh, commanding officer, how about you not act all suspicious? <laughs> and here's your cover blown. Tala. Me. Use the force, Obi-Wan. Why even use a droid if it doesn't have any better looking for things ability than a human? Okay, seriously, you're just gonna leave him lying on the floor in the middle of the <laughs> in the middle of the workroom? What? That makes like less than zero sense. Negative sense. I'll tell you where they are. I just don't want anyone to get hurt. I give you my word. Inquisitor's honor. I think I just found the secure sector. Really? Is that why there's like no extra guards here? Because it's so secure? Let go! Boom! Somebody help! 
and in the middle, the Pilates machine of doom. Are these all uh, dead Jedi? Or Jedi that have been put into stasis? It's a doom. Well, what are they encased in? I mean, is it like amber? Is it a stasis field? I mean, clearly it's not carbonite. But like, what the hell is it? Nobody cares. <laughs> That was an awful lot of work to take out one stormtrooper. You have a laser sword. One cut. <laughs> you dumbass, Obi-Wan. At the very least, he could have, like, get, you know, picked a disguise. Use the force, Obi-Wan. Oh, that was clumsy. Ah, when you're a rusty Jedi, man. Yeah, I was about to say, use the force. Do none of them wonder what he's doing right now? It only takes one of them to go, hey guys, it looks like he's using the force to hold that window together. Run! Run? I suppose it's not as ridiculous as when uh, Riddick outrun the sun, outran the sunrise. Their existence will suffer for this. This is her doing. It's a good thing nobody notices that extra pair of legs. Oh, Leia, stop peeking out, for right out loud. Um, how are you guys going to redirect yourselves? You're flying right at a wall at speed. I don't think we ever saw those things do a stop and hover before, did we? Oh, why the poor little droid? He didn't do anything. Oh, well, I guess they can stop and hover. All right. Right behind you. Wade! Oh, no, not Wade or whatever his name was. That guy we knew and loved because we've spent so much time with him. I'm warning you, being this sarcastic is dangerous! You were warned what the feet would bring. Well, they're definitely capturing Vader in this. Are you actually going to resist? Oh, okay, you're going to come up with a plausible lie. I put a tracker on the ship. Where he goes, it will follow. Did you really do that, or is this just a really good bluff to buy time? I guess they'll show us in a second if there really is a tracker on there. Where's Wade? Guess you're soldiers now, after all. It's like I was saying in uh in one of the boys' uh, episodes, I think episode three of this season, the third season, to fight for our cause means putting your comfort and everything on the line. It means risking everything. Okay, I'm having a weird thought right now. Uh, you? No. But do you ever just marvel at how, like, tiny kids' hands are sometimes when they put their hand in? Or even sometimes full-grown adults. <laughs> I was thinking about my ex. She had, like, a really tiny hand. But she also was, like, 4 foot 11. Oh, she put the tracker in the droid. Actually, it kind of almost looks like she reprogrammed the droid. And I'm like, when the hell did you have time to do that? So yeah, that episode had more examples of that moon logic I've been talking about, where things are just sort of like, they just sort of happen to advance the plot, but they don't make sense very much, and if you stop and think about them for half a second, they fall apart. <laughs> that said, though, I'm still enjoying the performances. Wake up, wake up. And the overall story itself was not a bad story, it's just that, like, the way that the narrative move through the different beats of the story kind of stretched credulity a bit um so mixed bag mixed bag uh i think james earl jones uh credit just came up and so i was going to say this again they are capturing vader perfectly the menace the the just like I, am not, I don't have time to talk or listen to you. I'm just going to kill you <laughs> kind of thing with him. If uh, if Reva hadn't spoken very quickly, that would have been the end of her. 
Absolutely the end of her. Uh, Natalie Holt's doing the score. I think she did the score for uh, Loki in MCU. Um, interesting to see what her range is. Because that, th- that score was very different from this one. Um, but yeah, uh, so what do we have left now? Uh, yeah, we have to hmm. If you were tired, you may rest. Because that was episode four. And I think there are six episodes in this season. So next episode should be... Uh, you know, third sister and possibly Vader arriving at the planet that they're going to to lay siege to it. Um, and I'm guessing the last episode will be a big confrontation between uh, Vader and Obi Wan, in which Vader is made to believe somehow that Obi Wan dies, so that he stops looking for him for a long time. I'm guessing. Uh, Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments below. Do you think I was a little too harsh in my picking of nits, or do you think I wasn't harsh enough? Because I know a lot of times people, it it seems like I divide everybody. It's like, you know, there are people who who want me to pretend that something is absolutely perfect and will get mad because I criticize the points that need to be criticized. And then there are the people who've decided that it's absolute trash and they get mad because I'm not just like foaming at the mouth, screaming about how they, you know, killed my childhood and pissed all over its grave. <laughs> I, I'm a nuanced fella, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere in the middle of these things. This, this show is not garbage, but it's also not as good as it as I really wished it would be, you know. And it's okay to admit that things are some somewhere in the middle, and that's where this show is. You're a coward. As always, do me a favor and do your best to stay safe and be well. And I will see you for the next one. Bye-bye.